Welcome to this class on installing Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. In this class, I will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of installing Roll 9 on your computer. Let's get started. Before we begin, make sure you have the following requirements. A computer with compatible hardware specifications. A bootable USB stick or DVD containing the Roll 9 installation media. Sufficient storage space for the installation. The first step is to boot your computer from the Roll 9 installation media. Start your computer and access the boot menu by pressing the appropriate key during startup. Select the option to boot from the installation media. Once the system boots from the installation media, the Roll 9 installation wizard will appear. You should see the Grub Boot menu. From this menu, you can choose from the following options. Install Roll 9. Select this option for a normal installation. Test this media and install Roll 9. Select this if you want to test the installation media before installing. Notice that this will take a significant amount of time. Troubleshooting. Select this option for some troubleshooting options. You can use this option if you cannot boot normally anymore. Select Install Roll 9, then press Enter to start the installation wizard. Select the appropriate language. Now you can set installation source, software selection, network and host name, time and date, k-dump, installation destination, connection to Red Hat, and change the keyboard layout if needed. To connect to Red Hat, enter your credentials, then click Register. Next, we need to configure the disk partitioning for Roll 9. Choose the disk or disks where you want to install Roll 9 and configure the partitioning scheme according to your needs. You can let the installer automatically partition the disk or customize it manually. Now, let's specify the installation source for Roll 9. Choose the source from which Roll 9 will be installed, such as a local media or a network repository. Make sure you have the correct media or repository URL handy. KDump is used to set up a process that is started with your server to allow you to create a memory core dump in case the kernel crashes. If your server does have enough RAM available, that will result in KDump being active automatically. If your server is low on memory, you won't have it running by default. As Linux kernel crashes don't occur very frequently, and setting up KDump is not a part of the RHCSA objectives, you can disable KDump and click the Done button. If you want to set up your time zone, click on Time and Date, select your region and city, then click on Done. To install Roll 9 Server with a graphical user interface, leave the default selection or click on Server with GUI. And if you want to install Roll 9 Headless Server, select Server, then click on Done. Also, you can select the software packages you want to install with Roll 9. Here we'll leave the default selections. Click on Network and Host Name to set up the network connection to ensure connectivity during and after the installation process. Type in a host name and click on Apply. Then click on Done. You can apply specific security profiles to harden your system. To enter the root password, click on the Root Password button. Type your root password, confirm it, then click on Done. Once you have completed all the necessary configurations, we are ready to begin the installation. Sit back and relax while Roll 9 is installed on your machine. The progress will be displayed on the screen, and you can also view the detailed log if needed. Congratulations! The installation of Roll 9 is complete. Remove the installation media and reboot your computer.
it's time to create a user account for Rule 9. Specify the full name, username, and password to set up your account. The username will be used to create the user home directory. Welcome to Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. I hope you found this class helpful and are now ready to experience the power and versatility of Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.